Okay, I didn't expect to see so many familiar faces. Um, so uh, let me share my screen quickly. So uh, my name is Sirsla, uh and good to see so many people um, come to my presentation on this topic. I think it's a good one. Uh, so Sync of 8 is a fairly recent addition as of uh, Swift 5.5, and it caught my attention. Sorry to disappoint all of you, but I haven't added uh, any memes to this presentation, so it's well, <laughs> it will be <laughs> um, just a quick presentation. Um, so let's just jump into it. So my motivation of looking into this topic are some problems with the sync programming uh, with completion handlers. Uh, so um, sync, a sequence of simple asynchronous operations often requires deeply nested closures, and uh, this results in pyramids of doom that are difficult uh, difficult to read. And um, also, like for error handling, the uh, callbacks. Uh, make it very difficult and very verbose and it's quite easy to forget some of those or to just bail out of the asynchronous operation early and returning without calling the correct completion handler block. Uh, so when such uh, stuff happens, it's very hard to debug and uh, yeah, I'm sure uh, most of you faced such issues before. Uh, so overall, asynchronous code is uh, pretty awkward. So let's talk uh, about why you want to use async await. So uh, it's simple and safe. Uh, asynchronous functions allow asynchronous code to be written as straight line code. So as simple as it sounds, uh, that's all I want uh, talking about asynchronous code. Uh, so let's um, take a look at this uh, simple image use case. Uh, here I have um, a function uh, that has uh, this URL session data task. And uh, as soon as I call it, I immediately check for errors. I have to uh, call completion blocks. It's very easy to miss. If I'm impatient, uh, I check for data if it's uh, good data. Uh, I throw a bad image error. And, and all only after all this stuff, if everything is good, uh, we get a completion with a good image. And that's as simple as is a uh, task of fetching an image. Uh, and let's uh, not forget about uh, the usage of this function. So if we uh, want to do uh, something with it uh, before uh, it's fetched, um, we can get some unpleasant behavior. Uh, so with async await, uh, we uh, immediately see the difference in size. Uh, just, yeah, from this to this, um, like five lines of code. So the... Uh, big callback um, just goes back to uh, try await. Uh, we add a sync keyword to the function. So uh, as soon as we do this, um, we can only use this function in concurrent context. I will explain later what that means. Uh, and uh, also uh, what I changed uh, all uh, is uh, so I have this uh, result and I get it by uh, try evade from URL uh, session shared data. So um, when this happens, uh, uh, like the execution will be uh, suspended uh, or will not be suspended. So uh, when we write uh, evade uh, keyword, um, Usually, if uh, the function, uh, if uh, the system sees our code as uh, like the main priority, it will uh, execute uh, it first. Uh, so, from this moment, everything is uh, plain and simple. 
uh, we just uh, check for errors as we did is in previous case. The only difference is uh, that in this case, if we miss something, the compiler was, uh, will tell us about the issue uh, explicitly. Uh, so let's again point out what's uh, like different about this. So the execution is straightforward and less lines of code equals less room for error. Uh, so again, let's uh, talk about how Swift ha handles the evade. evade. So uh, async enables the function to suspend. Uh, evade is where a function may suspend and other work can happen during the time. And uh, once the awaited call is completed, the execution is resumed. Uh, so let's talk about how to use um, this with uh, non-concurrent code. Uh, so as before, I said that when we mark a function asynchronous, uh, it uh, become, uh, becomes uh, uh, like available only in concurrent context. Uh, so we can use it only inside of uh, tasks or in like dispatch queue in GCD. Um, so in this example, um, so since this is an image and I tried to pass it to an image view, um, I wrapped it uh, in a detached task. So uh, detached is basically uh, like uh, equivalent of global queue. Uh, so um, we run a detached task, we fetch the image, and then uh, we would uh, usually uh, like call the main queue and uh, like assign the fetched image. So in this case, we use main actor. Uh, this is the equivalent. Actors is uh, also new stuff introduced in Swift 5.5, but I didn't touch it uh, in this uh, presentation. Uh, you can check it out uh, yourself. But uh, so basically, actors is like a new thing like classes and structs, but with uh, its privileges, it's, uh, prevent, uh, it prevents like uh, it uh, gives us threat safety. So when we use uh, some um, property from uh, an actor, uh, we cannot access it outside of the uh, like concurrent context. So it, uh, it's, it will be safe to use. Uh, so again, everything in this task uh, will be executed line by line. So if we want to uh, something to happen after setting the image, we could easily write something after we call uh, to the main actor, like here, and uh, it will be as simple as that. Um, also, async await provides us uh, async properties. The only note is that uh, we only can uh, have uh, read-only properties uh, as async properties. And um, there are also async sequence, uh, sequences. So everything that uh, works with uh, regular uh, sequences will work with uh, async sequ uh, sequences. All right, uh, so yeah, that's it for the presentation and it's uh, demo time. Uh, um, so here is the same um, task. Maybe I can pause for some questions if someone has any. Uh, I see nothing in chat. So uh, in that case, uh, yeah, this is the same functions uh, from the presentation. Um, so here I have a view controller. This is just a playground. Uh, so I add my image view. Uh, sorry for not using Swift UI, <laughs> but that's easier to set up in playground. Um, so here I have the closure way. Uh, I use the dispatch queue. So um, let's run this bad boy. Okay, so here we have the fetched image, uh, some nice for forest. And 
yeah, it happened basically immediately uh, because I have a good connection. Um, yeah, uh, so what do we need to do to rewrite this in a sync await fashion? Um, so instead of, um, oh my bad, I didn't even, uh, Well, <laughs> you get it. <laughs> I would have usually to run this on uh, the global queue. So it would be a little uh, bit messier. But for a sync of eight, um, yeah, I just do it with uh, task detached as uh, previously shown. And I use a main actor for assigning the uh, end result. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, any questions? I can also run this with a sync wait. Yeah, maybe someone have question. Please ask guys if you have. Uh, yep, I've got one question if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Can you actually show the difference between the async await function and the regular one with the URL sessions, which were above? Um, because I saw like the first one, the traditional one without the async is a lot bigger than the second one, which is uh, async await. So mm -hmm. basically here we've got the URL session and that session is probably supporting await async, I think in Swift. Yes. yes. Uh, as of uh, Swift 5.5, yeah, like it uh, supports uh, async await. So the thing that is different that I used a closure for this one, so I can later do this. Yeah, you resume it, but with the async await, you don't need to do that because it's uh, you're yeah. awaiting basically down below. Yeah, okay. basically yeah. this uh, means that. Um, as soon as uh, the execution of this function begins, um, like let's go back to the slides. Uh, so when we get to the point when we uh, try await for your URL session, we just do what it uh, what the code says. We await for the result, and. Uh, right in the next line of code, we have the result, we have the data, we have the response, and we just check for uh, errors and uh, for the data. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. I think there is a Swift. Sorry, can you repeat? Yes, uh, someone ask, uh, asked a question. Could you please repeat it? Maybe no. <laughs> okay, seems like uh, no questions. Uh, okay, I uh, want to say Thank you, Yaroslav, for your presentation. And um, I want to say thank you all who join us today. Um, it was a great uh, time uh, with you. And uh, uh, I'd like to wish you a good day. And uh, we will happy to see all of you next event. Thank you all. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Have a good one. Bye.